the success of Steam Deck was good for gaming. It's gotten other companies to invest in powerful handheld consoles that run like gaming PCs. With more competition, maybe Nintendo will finally give us a more powerful Nintendo Switch. The newest entry and perhaps a new king in handheld gaming PCs is the Asus Rogue Ally. I shelled out $900 Canadian for this thing. It's the most expensive gaming console I've ever purchased. That's like buying two Nintendo Switch consoles. Is it worth $900? Let's find out. The packaging here seems minimalistic, similar to how Steam Deck was packaged. The box is shrink wrap sealed. There's also two more seals on the sides here. Let's open this up. And here's the Rogue Ally handheld. There also seems to be some sort of stand here. And this is the stand they included. It's friggin' made out of cardboard. Why even bother? Here's the included power adapter for charging. And then there is this box, which has a few manuals. The very first thing you need to do with your Ally is charge it before you even turn it on. It says that right here on the packaging. Let's remove the packaging. And I wanna give my first impressions of the console. I do like the build quality. It feels solid. It also looks good. I like the design. It's sleeker compared to the Steam Deck. It does feel smaller and lighter than the Steam Deck. Steam Deck had those touch pads, which for me were just useless. This doesn't have the touch pads and I think it saves a lot of space and gives more room for the gamepad controls. Those gamepad controls do feel better and more ergonomic than Steam Deck. The back here does look pretty cool with that colored strip here. It does also have the programmable macro buttons on the back. Yeah, overall, it's a good looking device physically on the top here we have the power button, light indicator for power, indicator for when it's charging, volume up and down. This is the full function lightning USB port for charging or even connecting it to various docks. And now this doesn't come with a dock, but you can connect and dock it using one of these seven in one USB hubs, the Rogue XT mobile interface, a micro SD card to expand storage. The internal storage here is 512 gigabytes M2 SSD and audio out jack. Okay, first thing first, let's charge it up. It's fully charged now and it's time to set it up, which is essentially just a standard Windows 11 setup. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing here. You can log into your Windows, your Xbox account, connect it to your Wi-Fi. It's just like setting up a laptop. Now Windows 11 will function like a tablet in this case. The touch screen does get used quite a lot for navigating. You can also use the right joystick as a mouse. I personally do prefer Windows operating system compared to the Steam. Steam Deck OS we had on the deck. Windows just gives you a lot more freedom to do whatever you want. It makes the device compatible with pretty much everything. Now, if you do want it to feel more like a console, there is the Rogue app, which opens up during startup. This sort of acts as the control center for all your games. It'll display everything that's installed. It'll display even the gaming services like Steam and Xbox. So I can load up Steam right out of this and it'll load up in big picture mode. With big picture mode, Steam basically feels exactly the same as it did on Steam Deck. There's also the Xbox app for games since it is Windows and you do get three months of Game Pass Ultimate included with the Rogue Ally. That should give you access to a ton of good games. Now the one important button here on the left is the command center button. It brings up this menu overlay that lets you control the volume, the brightness, the wattage. You can also limit the screen refresh rate. The screen overall is 1080p and 120 hertz. That's of course better than both the Steam Deck and the Nintendo Switch. It is seven inches in size, which sort of matches the Steam Deck and the Switch OLED. Okay, enough of the setup. Let's get to the fun part, what it's all about, the games. This thing is more powerful than a Steam Deck, so it'll run almost all the games better. With that said, don't expect it to replace your high-end $2,000 gaming PC. The Rogue Ally will still struggle with demanding games like Hogwarts Legacy at ultra or high settings, so you will have to turn the graphics down. Perhaps medium or low works better with Hogwarts. I did see similar performance with Star Wars Jedi Survivor, I did have to tone down the settings in that as well. I mean overall it's impressive for a handheld and it will run pretty much every game at a decent setting. For me the performance is good for games on the go. 
Rogue Ally does feel a lot sleeker in your hands compared to the Steam Deck. It also does run quieter than the Steam Deck. I mean, I didn't notice it sounding like a fighter jet when things were just getting hectic. I also experienced less crashes and that might be because Windows, I think overall is a more stable operating system. While gaming, I also noted the speakers on this thing are better than the Steam Deck. They're louder, they sound better. In fact, they sounded better than what I've even seen on a lot of laptops. So overall, yeah, it's better, it's more powerful, better looking, better controls than a Steam Deck. It does of course cost a little bit more and the one advantage the Steam Deck does have is maybe that does work better at lower wattages with less demanding games. It'll give you a bit more battery life. Now is this thing better than the Nintendo Switch? If all you care about is power then yeah it's a generation ahead of Switch. But a gaming handheld is more than just power. It has to be portable. The Nintendo Switch and especially the Switch Lite are a lot smaller, more portable and better refined products for traveling and gaming on the go, but I think they did a good job with the Rogue Ally. I do like it. It can of course do a lot more than the Nintendo Switch. My only real complaint with this is its battery life. Just like the Steam Deck, the battery life on the Ally is horrible. It can't compete with Nintendo Switch when it comes to battery life. Now those were just my early impressions of the Rogue Ally. I've only had this for a few days so I'm just getting started. Stay tuned for a lot more Rogue Ally content. I'll be sure to show off the performance of different games on this new handheld. Yeah. 